And size then beyond from Zimbabwe, uh, Shangan Quartz, the Chibuku deposit in Zimbabwe. This one is mainly smoky, but I'd expect to find a little bit of amethyst in this too, a uh, typical to this deposit. Uh, so there would be traces of amethyst in this material. I think when we look in there, we might find a little bit of purplishness over there. Um, there's a touch of contact on this side. Let's go around. Ah, there, there I see an undertone of purple as we move in over there. I'm going to zoom in over there a little bit. Very bright, lustrous piece. Large, super large. Uh, look at the interesting crystallization there. A little bit of a coating of chalcedony on that side. Let's go around like this. A little bit of contact on the point. You know, the large piece like this, one could expect that. Um, you know, they haven't always been handled in a, in a perfect way. Now, when we turn it over, we have a totally different formation on this side. Maybe this is the more appealing uh, uh, point of display, actually. A large, large crystal running across there. Near across there, sitting on top of that. Shangan Quartz, uh, super large. Shangan Quartz from Zimbabwe, Chibuku deposit. A uh, product of informal mining, so responsibly mined, yes, uh, sustaining lives in Zimbabwe. Um, let's go around, look at that, look at that, wow. And of course, beyond the hand size, so super, super large. Smoky amethyst, uh, elestial, doubly terminated, almost a floater, not quite a floater, but um, definitely doubly terminated. Crystal formations galore. I mean, yeah, what can one call these crystal formations? There's just so much happening here. Look at that, look at that, even this side, very intricate. And then, of course, we have the side with a big head.